All right, gang. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Cracking Packs here on the ICG Store page. Now, we're going to be opening some unique packs today. These are not trading card game packs. These are D&D figure packs. These are made by WizKids. Each of these is going to come with four miniatures in there. That We have three different sets today. We have the brand new Theros, the Mythic Odysseys of Theros. This is a campaign module for D&D. We have the City of Lost Omens. This is the newest Pathfinders one. Look at, oh, look at that. Panacosaurus. That one's kind of cool. Oh, look at the Tengu. That's cool. And then finally, we have the OG Tyranny of Dragons. There's some really cool stuff in here. Ooh, look at that green dragon. That's cool. So we have, in total, we're going to be opening up 12 of these. There is four of each set. Um, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so first up, we have the City of Lost Omens box. So I have not played a ton of Pathfinder, so I'm not really sure what uh, this is thematic for, but what do we got? We got the, the Dinosaur, the Bombardier. So it just came, seems like... Uh, like a plethora of the different little things. All right, first up, who do we got? So each of these, are, they're gonna have four minis in here. So our big, there's gonna be a large one and then three small ones. Let's check out this guy. Oh, it's like a zombie ogre. Zombie Brute, Colo. So this is gonna be a named character. So if you play that module, City of Lost Omens, this person will be relevant to that. All right, who are our small guys? Yeah, this guy's real small. Oh, look at this guy. He's like pseudo dabbing. Gimmerling. Oh, Colo is City of Lost Omens. That's not his name. So this is not a named character. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Colo. Oh, man. Well, this guy looks kind of looks like a spotter leopard dude. What do we got? Zolgath Skulker. He's a skulker. Oh, we got something blue. Something blue. What is he? It looks like he's like, oh, you gotta fold him back on his base a little bit. Praise. Praise the sun. What is this? A Rooksy Stargazer. He's praising the stars. All right, that's one box in. Let's take a peek at the next one. Oh, we got the art on the box. This is on the side. What is this? The Wave Rider. Look at that. You got like little tints of blue there on the, the hooves or the fins, I guess, since, <laughs> since it's a water thing. That's kind of cool. Maybe like the yellow, this yellow kind of clashes a little bit. I don't know. I think the, the zombie brute is kind of cooler. All right. What do we got here? What's this little dude? Oh, it's a little goblin guy. Chief Zuzgut. He's got his little crown. Zuzgut. That's, that guy sounds pretty important. Whoa, this dude's got his little, he's got like a hand axe. Dusk Walker Ghost Hunter. Coming to chop. Yeah, maybe that's a toothbrush. Maybe he's coming to clean your teeth. I don't know. That's what that's what he'd be doing in my story. He's like the, the tooth fairy. But it's like much more grim. Oh, this is a little rat guy with a crossbow. Rat folk. See if we can get a good picture of him. He's got his crossbow. All right, next box. It's definitely a nice variety here. I do really like dragons, though. I don't think there's any dragons in this. Here near the dragons, though, it's gonna be awesome. What do we have here? What is this thing? I have no idea. Colo, enlarged Dwergar. This thing's cool. 
not. I don't know. I don't think I could work with that. That ain't no dragon. Give me, give me the dragons. This guy's cool. He's got like a little grenade thing in his hand. There's another Dwergare. So it looks like the Dwergares are relevant to this module. Who else is hiding out in here? Ooh, like a lizard man. Aruxi Defender. That shield looks cool. Look at that. And he's got his flail. That's neat. And then who's the last one in this box? Ooh, he's got like a billy club. It's like a policeman. The watch officer. Everybody down. This is the police. All right, last box. City of Omens. Colo. Whoa, this one didn't even have... Whoa. It didn't even get a big giant plastic thing. What is this? So what, is this supposed to be our big thing? I feel like we got duped. This is kind of cool, though. Yeah, that was supposed to be our big one. Which I guess is kind of cool. Like, I think it's cooler than this thing, but it's it's not very big. Use that, like, as an objective marker in, like, Warhammer or something. Who's this? Ooh, this little green dude. Is that a, a leaf lush, leshy? Leaf leshy. He hanging out. It's like a bird man. What's this? Ooh. A harpy. Ooh, a good old harpy. Got like a club. And then the last one for City of Omens. Oh, look at that little crossbow. I love crossbows. I think they're sweet. Is this a name? That's just another Dwergare. Yeah, so I guess the city is inhabited by Dwergares, if I had to guess. All right, so there's our first set of boxes. This zombie brute's really cool. That's neat. All right, let's go ahead and get to the next one. We are going to open the Theros boxes next. So we're back here. We are about to open up some of the Theros booster packs. Let's go ahead and take a look. The uh, This one here, this is like twice as heavy as any of these other boxes. Hopefully there's, so there's, so hopefully there's something cool in there. Who knows? Or maybe it's just like some coal. It's just like a heavy rock. That would be, I don't know. That'd be. I think that'd be so funny, so. I, t I would take that. I think the boxes look really cool too. Like the blues. There's an idol on. Doomwake Giant. So for those who play magic, that's a magic card. And when Brim has, that's a legendary magic card. Ooh, a Medusa. So, I mean, they could have made that like a Vraska or something. I don't know. Medusa. And then what? A Minotaur. So there's 44 of these as well. Curious what they have. The, uh, uh, they have a premium miniature that's gigantic, and it's uh, Pelucranos. It's like the size of, like, all these boxes combined. Uh, who do we have here? The clear base. So is this supposed to be, like, invisible? What does that say? Lami Lamia. Thought Render Lamia. I don't know that what that is. Look at that face. I wonder if you can see that face. It's kind of interesting. It's like the eyes are really well done for something so small and probably mass produced. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. I mean, it's not as good as my painting, but what are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Oh, look at this! It's like a purple see-through goat goat thing. No way, dude! It's the Nyx Fleece Ram. I love this card. Way way back when it was in standard. It's a two mana O5 and it just it's a it's just a goat thing that just sits there, but you gain life every turn. So it was great against the aggro decks because it blocked and you gained a life. This is going on my shelf. Good old Nyx Fleece Ram. I was wondering why it was purple, because it's like it's like a const it's like a a constellation kind of thing. It's ethereal. Whoa, is this? Leonin Swift Claw, two mana, three one. Look at that. Got the red and the blue. 
Does that mean he's the he's a police cat? Is that what he is? The police cat. And Brimaz is like the chief, the police chief. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, kind of. You gotta like heat these guys up and move them around. What is this? A ghost blade idol on. It's kind of neat. Its head looks like it's like melting off. It's got a it's got a head melter. All right, box two. What do we got? Ooh, this one. This one looks pretty big. Whoa, look, it's a griffin. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's just a, a, a unnamed griffin. Dude, it has a cape. That's cool. I wonder if, like, you know, in mythical times that griffins always wore capes. Like, it was just part of their attire. Griffins can talk, can't they? In my, in my world, they talk, so... They're like majestic beasts that are lawmaker. They're like lawful, lawful good. They're lawful good. Ooh, it's this uh, two-headed Cerebrus. Yeah, I'm more, I'm more used to three-headed Cerebruses. Hound of Acrosis or whatever his name is. This is black. It's just like a black dog. Ooh, is this a Medusa? It's pricking my fingers. Oh man, that is cool. Look at that Medusa. And it got like snake. Is it just Medusa? Yeah. Now that is sweet. That's going right up on the shelf next to that Nyx Fleece Ram. And finally, a little tiny guy. A Nymph Dryad. He's just absorbing into the ground. All right, box three of four. He's been pretty cool. Okay, there's another, oh, dude, look at this guy, this is cool, wow, he's like spitting out fire, or that's like smoke, I think it's supposed to be from his mouth, what is this, this is a, okay, I don't know what that is, Cato Blepis, all right, the name is even cooler than the mini, Cato Blepis, Blepla, Boopada Blepo, Bippada Bepada Bo, that is cool. I have to get some stats on this dude. That is super cool. I like, I think I like clear bases better than black bases. Boopada bepada bow. Is this another cool mini? Is it like a manticore? Oh, what is it? It's like a hyena. A basilisk. Ooh, that's cool. Man, these packs are fire. Basilisk. Is that what they look like in the Harry Potter movies? The basilisk thing? I don't think they were snakes, I thought. I thought basilisks were snakes. I don't know. Ooh, we got a, a night hag. It's, it might be hard to see, but like, they have like sparkles on their robe. It really adds to it. It makes them more of a night hag than like a regular hag. A green hag or a whatever else there is. This looks, what was this, like a minotaur? Minotaur fighter. I know that uh, the, I think it was the Theros uh, module lets you make Minotaur characters, so. Or no, I actually think it was the the Ravnica book that had the Minotaur stuff in it. But I do know that you can play Minotaur in D&D, &D, so there's uh, sponsored content. All right, here's the last box. This is like, this feels like two big minis in one, so come on. Something sweet. Oh, oh man. That's a big base. Can you see that in there? There we go. What is it? What? It, oh my goodness. What is this thing? Dude, this is heavy. It's like made of metal. Emissary of Perforos. Wow, dude. This is cool. It's like tail of see through. And it's like solid plastic. And the purples and reds and blacks and all oh, the sparkles like inside of the model. That is so cool. Wow. So, I don't know. that These boxes have been much cooler than the, uh, the, the Colos. Ooh. It's like a salt. Is this uh, 
What does that say? Sidna, captain of Pileus. I don't know who that is. He's like a cool, like, rogue. Uh, I got a cape. That's neat. Alright, ooh, this is a uh, uh, returned phalamite. They have the masks on. They're supposed to be like the, the was it the, the 300 or whatever? The, the immortals, that's what they were. The immortals were the ones that wore the masks. And the last bit of miniatures from Mythic Odyssey is a majestic sword pointing, shield bearing human paladin the green's really nice here with like the turquoise like the turquoisey green oh right and then around the edges of the shield that's nice very nice all right so we're gonna go ahead and dive into our final boxes the tyranny of dragons so we're back here with our tyranny of dragons blind box set now this set's uh really cool for me because this is the first module i played D D fifth edition on it was the first one that came out. They had the, uh, they actually came out with a special edition cover here recently, and it had both Horde of the Dragon Queen and Tyranny of Dragons in it. Or Rise of Tiamat and Horde of the Dragon Queen, which is the Tyranny of Dragons module. So There's uh, there's a ton of cool stuff in here. Look at these giant dragons. I'm curious as to be as to see what named characters are in here, if any gonna be awesome and and also should note these boxes are like twice the size of these other ones uh, lids up they're like twice the size so hopefully we can get some gigantic awesome fire breathing dragons out of here oh i can already see it Let's check it out the green dragon Ooh. and like the wings are have like a softer plastic so you can kind of like malleable oh that's kind of cool that's there's the base. We can put it on its stand. Maybe. Check this out. That is awesome. Yeah, it's been a while, but I think in the I think the very first beginning of the module, there's a a, a green dragon. I don't remember what color dragon it is, but a dragon. What else we got here? What else is hanging out? Who is this? It's a little hard to read. Human Bandit. Okay, so it's just a generic. Look at this. He got a curved. It's like a hook sword. Yeah, we're going to make it a regular sword. There we go. All right, who else we got? This is another human paladin, so just a solid character choice. Real noble looking, righteous, long hair, cape flowing in the wind. And finally, oh, look at this little guy. Doppelganger. A good old doppelganger. Always useful. All right, number two. Tyranny of Dragons. Can we get another? Can we just get like all the dragons? Oh, dude, is that a is that a brass dragon? Check this out. Oh wow! Wow, look at that. That's copper dragon, yeah, copper because it has the way the wings are. That is legit. Let's see if we can get this on the stand. Maybe. I have to like really jam it into that plastic. There we go. Maybe. Oh wait, I see now. The uh, the plastic goes in a certain way. Well, he gets to hang out on the ground. He's flying. He's taking a peek. Look at that. That's cool. We are two for two on dragons. What else? Who else is hanging out? Sun Elf Guard. He's got a wavy stick. It's seen many battles. 
Next up, oh, this is another paladin guy. Yeah, another human paladin. That's the first duplicate we got. Yeah, there should be 44 of these miniatures as well, so. Ooh. Check out this guy. He's like kind of see-through. What is he supposed to be? A wraith. A wraith. These bases are weird because they can only go in like a certain way. There you go. I guess that's helpful. So they stay in there a little tighter. Look at that. That's cool. So now it floats. Alright. Next box. Alright. So this one it looks like it's not a dragon, but it's still pretty cool. It's like a frost reaver. Frost giant. Frost giant. Look at this gigantic shield. That's so cool. I love sword and shields. This is like axe and shield, but that's like, I don't know. I just think that's so cool. I saw like a, a YouTube video of people sword and shield fighting with like, they're all covered in armor. And then the dude just starts bashing them with the shield. Just like he falls down and they got, he just, just straight down right on his head. Oh my gosh. It was wild. And I'm like, and they didn't stop it like right away, and I'm like, that dude might just be dead. Oh man, that's cool. All right, who else was in there? Who else was hanging out? Ooh, it's like a elf ranger, wood elf druid. That's cool. I like druids. They have like lots of possibilities. Just like a little little kobold. They're so hard to read, or maybe I'm just going blind. Yeah, Kobold Fighter. Those are useful in any campaign. Kobolds are just like nice, easy battles. Get the feel. Ooh, a, a Ballista. A Ballista. Nice little metal around it. Nice little addition. All right, here we go. Our last blind box. What do we... So what? We still need a we still need a red dragon. Let's see if we let's see if we can get it. I'm just gonna dump it out so I don't I don't see it. Uh, here we go. Come on, red dragon. Oh, for real? Another? Oh no, that looks a little bit different. This one has a. This one's a gold dragon. Look at it. It's, it's like. It's got like what like those Japanese dragons have, like a, like a little mustache. It's a gold dragon. That's cool. Let's see if we can get this one to stand up. There we go. There we don't go. Do this part first. Gold dragon. All right, he don't. He ain't trying to hang out with us. But that's. I think that's cooler than the bronze one or copper one. Man, that's cool. Dragons are really sweet. And who else we have hanging out? What is that? An orc fighter. That's cool. What else do we have? We got two more little guys to go through. Two more little guys. This is like a little nothing. Quickling. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. And then our last miniature is... I don't know, some little spooky green guy. What is this? What? A green hag. Regular old green hag. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so we got three dragons here. We got this sweet minotaur looking thing. A griffin's pretty cool. I think this thing is my favorite. Like, it's there's so much miniature to this. It's so heavy. That's cool. And then the gold dragon looks really neat, too. So that's just, that's just a small bit of what can be in these things. There's 44 different miniatures, so there's, you know... 
over 132 different ones that, you, that we could have seen today. And this is, you know, just a small, small little bit of that. But that is the end of our video today. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe. You'll be able to see when we post new videos. We do episodes of Kraken Packs every Saturday. So um, we always open neat things. This is the first time we've done the D&D miniatures. We usually do card packs, but, you know, whatever the new cool sweet stuff is coming out, we're going to be opening. So once again, uh, thanks for hanging out, watching the video, and enjoy the rest of your week.